Hello folks, how's everybody doing today? Uh, welcome to another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. And this afternoon I'm fishing at the creek at my house. And it's called Poplar Fork Creek. And uh, so I thought I'd try here today. And uh, it's about 90 degrees out here. Uh, the water's only 75 degrees because as you can see behind me, most of the water in this creek is shaded by trees on both banks so this water stays pretty cool even in mid-august but um i've got a bitsy minnow tied on a ned rig and a little strike king mini king spinner bait and we'll see what we can get going and uh the water's clearer than i expected to be i might have to put some more neutral colors on this white and chartreuse might be a little bit bright but uh we'll see if we can get a bite on it anyway There we go, second cast. Oh, and it's a little bass. No, it's a creek chub. Pretty good creek chub too. It looked like a bass when it was down there in that water. I guess because of that stripe on the side. Little creek chub on the bitsy minnow. Dad, go on. Ouch. Still a nice fish though, but now I gotta retie my lure or put a new one on. Right, we'll go ahead and turn this little guy loose. Oh, got it. Oh. He came back and got it. A little green sunfish on the bitsy minnow. Boy, he was barely hooked, too. Hook just fell right out. Uh, that's fish number two from this hole. Back cast. Ah, oh, now this is a better fish. It's some kind of hybrid sunfish. Probably a cross between a uh, green sunfish and a bluegill. It may just be a big green sunfish, but uh, yeah, he wanted that bitsy minnow. 
got both hooks in him. Put my glasses on to see what I'm doing. <clears throat> there we go. Got him. Boy, this water's low. Normally, I wouldn't be able to even stand here. What do I have? Oh, that's another sunfish. Another green sunfish on the bitsy minnow. Fish number four. They're not getting hooked very good. Uh, I keep tearing a hole in the mouth. This hook will just fall right out probably. There we go. All right. Well, look at the pretty orange fins on that thing. And there it goes. Oh man, it got all. That going, I think that was a bass. Ha-ha! <laughs> A green sunfish on Ned Rig. <laughs> I was hoping it was that little bass that just got off a minute ago. There's fish number five. Ned Ragebug gets one. 
This one is crawdaddy colored on a uh, 3 16 ounce Strat King uh, Tour Grade Weedless Ned Head. <clears throat> hey. All right. Put my rod down here real quick. I'm gonna turn this little guy loose. I got one. Are you kidding me? Three bass down here. And the sunfish gets it. Oh gosh, that's my luck. But it's fish number six. Three little bass down there in that hole and this thing gets it first. Little green sunfish. All right, now let's see if we can get one of those bass. Well, well folks, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. It is too hot out here to be doing this, but uh. I didn't catch any bass, so it wasn't much of a video as far as I'm concerned, but at least I got out here to try to do something. Uh, I ended up catching six fish, a uh, creek chub and five green sunfish. And uh, I caught everything but one of the green sunfish on this uh, chartreuse back, white-bodied uh, Strike King Bitsy Minnow. I was fishing on my Lose Xfinity combo. It's a uh, six and a half foot medium action got spooled with uh, eight pound test vicious fluorocarbon and then i caught one of the green sunfish on this ned rig uh, this is a uh, strike king uh, rage ned bug it's um crawdaddy colored and i got it rigged on a uh, 3 16 ounce uh, strike king tour grade wheelless ned rig head a green pumpkin colored one and uh, i was fishing it on my lose uh, Hank Parker signature series rod and I got it paired with a uh, 200 series lose uh, Mock smash spinning reel got 20 pound high-vis yellow vicious braided line on it spliced to a couple feet of a uh, 12 pound vicious braid so That was my day. I fished for about two hours and only caught six fish Which in this creek isn't too good. Usually I would have caught at least twice that many in that amount of time, but uh if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a like, subscribe, uh, maybe to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Um, I appreciate everybody that watches and uh, try to get out and get another video made soon.